It's been an incredible journey with the UPDF and today we are about to do quick review after almost a year. What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well and it's almost a year of using UPDF editor. So in this video, I'm going to share my honest opinion how the UPDF helped me throughout my work and my assignments. It doesn't matter if you are a student or professional, I can show you the UPDF can make it very easy for you while making or editing your professional documents. So first thing first, what I have noticed the UPDF is just all in one. I mean, if you are editing your documents, want you to make changes in the text, replacing photos, adding signatures or some kind of small notes, anything could be done in this friendly interface. You can easily do that from your desktop, iPhone and Android device. Not just that, but even with the help of advanced artificial technology, you can do a lot of things. Just making the UPDF to the next level. I'm gonna explain everything one by one in this video, so just stay with us. So when you open your PDF file in the UPDF editor, you will get all the features on the left side. The first thing is called comments. So basically with this feature, you can add a comment to the text. You can highlight your text just like that. As you can see, you can easily highlight something with a pencil and we got erase option. You can use this as well. If you want to erase something inside in your PDF file, along with that, by default, it has got some stickers which you can use it at some points. It can help you out while making your presentations or highlighting something. If you want to add your stamp on some confidential paper, you can simply insert that and add on your file. It's very simple and to be very honest, it has make my work very easy. You can also add signature and even you can make your own signature just like that with a pencil which is quite simple if you want to measure something in your pdf file in case if it's required you got the option for that as well from the last year i'm using the updf file and all these features are quite useful for me so that's why i'm making a video after almost a year because this application is definitely worth it and here comes the most interesting feature which is updf artificial intelligence this application has got its own AI tool by which you can rephrase or paraphrase your articles to remove plagiarism from your assignments or if you want to write some articles about something in different words, just tell the AI to type that in simple words and paste in your articles. I'm just showing you some quick examples. As you can see, I am copying some articles from the UPDF file and the AI is making it easy for me by rewriting it again. Just like that, it will rewrite your content in other words which really helped me in my assignments. So when you are making presentations or assignments, you, you don't need to search for the best AI tool as the UPDF has got its own tool which is quite useful and giving the very accurate information. It's not just about rephrasing or rewriting. If you look into a chat, we have got three options. The first one is summarize, translate and explain. So let's just explain how the summarize work. So for example, if you have thousands of words in your PDF file, obviously it will take some time if you want to summarize this and want you to know what's inside and what is the summary of all this content, just simply copy it and paste it here. It will summarize all your text in a limited word so then you could easily read and understand. The translate feature is just outstanding as you don't need to use Google Translator or some other application to transfer from English to other language. With your PDF, you can translate your text to any language. Just copy your text. Let's say if you want to translate it from English to other language, simply paste it and it will rewrite in different language. You can select any language according to your preference. The other option we have is called explain. For example, if there is something which you are getting, select the explain feature and paste your text. It will explain it to you in a simple word so you can easily get it. I found it very useful and I wanted to share it with you guys which might help you as well as this AI features which I discussed is just mind blowing. After creating your file in UPDF, you can export it to any format such as HTML, PowerPoint, Word and so many formats out there as well. If I tell you about UPDF Cloud which will give you easy access to your Android or iOS device, let me just show you how it works. I'm just saving this file into my UPDF file from my computer and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to access this file from my iPhone. Okay, so first of all, you will be required to download UPDF in your Android and iOS device. You will have to log in into the same account in your device, which is already logged in your desktop. So once you log in into your Android or iOS device with the same email, you can easily access the UPDF cloud from anywhere. For example, I make some changes in my file from my computer and then I uploaded that to my PDF cloud. And as you can see that this file has appeared on my iPhone by using the UPDF cloud and from now on you don't need to send file manually to your device even we have got AI tool here as well with the same feature which we discussed on the desktop so it doesn't matter if you don't have access to laptop or computer you can do 
everything with your iPhone or Android from anywhere. You can download the new PDF on your device from Google Play or App Store depending on your operating system. Just search it and you will get that on the top of the list. Okay, so that's it. It was a quick review after using UPDF for a year. And I think this is one of the best application I have seen in the era of AI technology. Let me know if you guys have got any question regarding this video and obviously regarding the UPDF file. I will happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.